Hello everyone, it's Barry here. Welcome to My Virgin Kitchen. I hope you, as always, are well. Well! I hope you're well. Today is another kitchen gadget testing video. Uh, if you've missed any of them to date, which I don't think you have, but check out the playlist. There's two different ones. Grab the popcorn, have a barathon. It pretty much takes up a lot of your days. If you have not seen the vlogs, you will not know that up in my office upstairs, I have got mountains of kitchen gadgets that I discovered since the house moved. So we'll be working our way through these very soon. And as always, a little bit of housekeeping before commenting down below, consider that some of these may help someone with a disability. It's really nice for me to get messages from people that I've actually helped them get back into the cooking by uh, finding like a gadget that actually can help them make a task much simpler. So that's why I really push that message home. And also because I don't really want you to waste your money because there are some bad ones out there. But as always, I want them to work. We've got a couple of novelty ones, a couple of nice ones. Uh, let's get cracking. Oh, this first one I thought was a little bit weird uh, when I saw it uh, online. One of you sent me a link to that. Thank you very much. Okay. This is the grape slicer. Quick and easy way to quarter grapes with no mess, no sharp blades, ideal for making fruit salads and feeding grapes to small children. I like that, how you're sort of like depositing. I've just got this vision of me feeding, like force feeding my children grapes. My kids love grapes, and so do I. They taste great. Uh, this is by Kitchen Craft, quite a well-known one, and it looks from the outside a little bit like a uh, ice cream scoop, but there's no blades. I thought there'd be blades in it, and why would you want to slice a grape? I guess, like they say, if you're in a rush, and I, I need grapes, you should be able to do it. Guaranteed for 12 months. So that is it. I don't really know how this thing works. I've got some grapes. Let's try it out. This is zip tied in almost as well as the garlic bread that we sent in the balloon. Tom Scott's video got to number one and trending for that. That's awesome. And I was part of it. It's the first time I've ever been like number one and trending. I only had a small role in it, but yeah, it was a fun day. So some mixed grapes and this, uh, they both need a wash. And this board did have the remaining uh, peanut butter Kit Kat cup that I made on the other day. And I think Mrs. Barry might have sneakily at it just before I started recording. She's in the house somewhere. So this is it. It's got kind of like, it looks like a, a hand fan from that angle. Uh, and this side, it's all sealed up, like we say, but if we open it up, oh, do we open it up? Does it want to open up? Oh, that's it. Okay, so it's on a little spring like that. It's like tongs. A tongue to tongue, tongue, tongs. But, so it's it's quite clearly this line here that's going to quarter them, and then, oh, these are like soft bristles. Oh, there's a little spike there. No blades, and then that's just like your, your pushy through bit there. Now, the grapes I've got are all quite rectangular. You know how you get ones that are slightly more egg-shaped, if that makes sense, yeah? Um, so it might be better if I lie them down, but I'm going to still stand it up anyhow. Stick it in there, try and line it up. And then um, there's actually some indentations to rest your thumb on. That's good. So here we go. Okay. Has that worked? <gasps> oh, wow, look. <laughs> yes, it has. Ah, that's awesome. I didn't push it all the way through though. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's stand up a red one as well. Never really been a fan of a red grape. I don't know why. Oh, wow. That works beautifully. Chunks of grape. They toast grape. A bit sour actually. Let's try it lying down. Oh, yes. That works even better. So you can imagine if you're in a hurry, you're at a party, you've got loads of kids over, you're like, I need to make a really quick fruit salad. You then turn into like a child-friendly version of the Terminator called the Grapenator. Oh. You're doing it upside down. Upside down? Yeah, that's that it. That way? Yeah, because it comes out that end. Oh, nice. This is a good idea if you've got um, babies and you're just starting to give them food and stuff and you want to slice grapes for them. Yeah. There you go. That's good, babe. That is a good point, actually. That's why this is beneficial because it is slicing a grape. It's yeah, really you're going to be quickly. like... Let's have a race. Two, one, go. Done. I'm never letting you slice a grape with a knife again. I'm always excited when there is an egg gadget involved in these videos, folks. There are so many good and bad egg gadgets out there. This uh, is called the Egg Extractor, an excellent egg pun in a gadget. Uh, use the amazing egg extractor to make delicious dishes and more. Scotch eggs, stuffed eggs, egg salad, cob salad, Peels eggs 10 times faster and easier than your hands, I guess. Fun and easy. So you tap the egg, you place it in there, and then you just press it through the suction cup thing, all right? Includes free 101 egg recipe guide. I'm not a massive fan of egg recipes, to be honest. The magic of the patented extractor is pure science. At the tip of every egg, there is a small chamber of air called the air cell. 
Inside the extractor, pressure forces the air from the air cell and causes the shell to separate from the egg. The egg pops out perfectly deshelled. So this is kind of like the, the thing we've done before where we, uh, this is basically a gadget that's gonna do it for us. So we need to boil some eggs up. <laughs> oh, it's like the vent on my tumble dryer. Oh, it's basically that and that. Ugh. It's dirty, can you see there's yellow marks on that bit? This could be second hand, you know, it's got egg marks on it. I've got f blue fingerprints by the way, because uh, it's Phoebe's birthday, we just made a cake with uh, blue icing. Place the eggs in tap water, add a heaped teaspoon of salt, make sure the eggs are completely covered with water, bring the water to a boil for six to eight minutes. All right, let's get the eggs going. So pinch of salt like it says. All right, so we'll just boil these eggs up for eight minutes or whatever. After boiling the eggs, carefully pour off the hot water and run cold water on the eggs. Then place eggs immediately in ice water for 10 minutes before egg extraction. <laughs> right, so uh, whilst the egg is cooking away, let's move on to another gadget. This is one of the first gadgets I was ever, 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 ever going to review. Um, I actually have had this in my loft, no joke, for probably, I don't know, a year and a half now? Two years? This is like the classic watermelon slicer thing. It, you just, it's like a big round bladed thing. I think it's quite dangerous. I reviewed a smaller one of these before that does it to an apple, uh, but this is uh, suitable for all types of melons. I carried a watermelon. Cuts it into 12 uniform slices, but the thing that caught my eye this morning, just before I uh, went out, there's a pineapple on there as well. So we're also gonna try it with the pineapple. And that is everything. They, this is it, okay? But we don't play around with stuff like this because this is sharp. Yep, that's sharp, baby. Sit it down as flat as you can. Line up the hole with the middle as much as you can. It's a little bit uneven, actually. Right. Oh, I'm gonna get my hammer. I ain't going down. It's hammer time. Just trying to get it to go into the, the main part of the watermelon. Okay. You all right? I'm fine. There was a loud noise. No, nothing, no, no loud noise. I made a little indentation in the melon. I'm gonna hold this. Can you whack it with a hammer in the middle and don't hit my face, please? <laughs> don't, oh, this is trusting. Just tappy tap tap. Come on. Watch your face. I am watching your face. All right. Are you uh, sure you're meant to do it with a... <coughs> oh my gosh, that? this is gonna snap. I'm gonna cut myself. Are you sure the melon's not, um, you're gonna get a bit of a riper one? Well, this is it's the only wet melon I could find. I don't know if it was ripe enough, but... Oh my God, it's snap, it's going! Stuff is going everywhere. Ah. Stand up higher. Stand up higher? You've already scooped it. Oh. Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I thought like I just really gave birth to a watermelon. It. I know that if you soak this in, I think it's tequila overnight, it absorbs it all and then you can take it to a festival and oh, get yeah, drunk. A good kids party. Yeah, great for your kids party with the grapes. Kids Actually, it worked great with grapes as well. Great. You shouldn't need to use a hammer. And this skin is really hard. This time of year, it was kind of like, you want a watermelon? I felt like I was asking for like gold or something. Ah, uh, this is quite cool though, check this out. Whoops. Whoopsie. I just want to try it with a pineapple. Again, not the best pineapple. But the hole in it should get out the core if we line it up properly. Yes! No! <laughs> no! But for a party in segments like that... Not bad. Doesn't work on coconuts. Conclusion with that one, uh, use ripe fruit, but also uh, get yourself a better quality one. Plastic handles just felt like they were gonna snap and it is quite a dangerous uh, instrument. So uh, please be careful if you try it. I have to be serious sometimes. And then bring it back to earth and do really silly things like this. <laughs> or silly things uh, like this novelty DIY drinking straws. I've had similar straws this a long time ago on a previous gadget video. You kind of 
had glasses and you drunk and it went through the glasses and all that stuff through into the drink. Uh, but this is great for parties. You can build your own straw. You've got these tubular sections and you can look as cool as that guy right there. There's two sizes of straw. You've got your connectors, uh, T-connect. It's like being a plumber. I've got some coffee over there that I just made for another gadget coming up. So we'll use that. I mean, I guess you need a tea piece if you wanted to share it, right? But I've washed it and I'm going to just stick them together. So that's going to go in and then we can... Oh, I'm enjoying this. Oh, look at this. Look at that. That's cool. Of course, you could buy loads of these and I could probably like be sat at the table right over there and then just extend loads and be drinking. Hey, I am going to make sure these are all really well connected together. All right, so there's my straw. I'm gonna stick this bit in the drinks. So it's going to do, 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 and then it's gonna go along there, down, then along in like that, and then, oh, okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, can you see it going along the, the straw? Watch this. <laughs> oh wow, that was, that's really weird. It works though. Have a drink of coffee. That's really dangerous. It's fine. I'm gonna burn myself. No, it's lukewarm. <laughs> you look like you're doing something illegal. <laughs> Is that all right? Oh my gosh, that's weird. That's really cool. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I think the kids are going to like it. The kids will love that. Almost as much as us. All in all, that's quite a little novelty gift, but a good laugh. So uh, let's check on the eggs. They should be boiled. We've got to stick them in some cold water now. Yep, they're all good. In they go to cool down and uh, well, we'll come back to that at the end. This next gadget, many of you have sent me a link to in the past. Uh, it's called the Slap Chop. Uh, complete five piece set. Effectively, the name is what it does. Uh, you slap it. I guess you don't really want to necessarily slap it because it could get dangerous, but then it will chop uh, things up. And apparently it can even grate cheese. It can do uh, chocolate. It can do nuts. It can do things. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. That's a beast it actually feels like fairly good quality some of these gadgets you like you know like that uh, watermelon slice it just felt really cheap and nasty the minute i picked it up mm, that feels quite cheap and nasty right i've washed it i've read the instructions which make no sense whatsoever but i'm fumbling my way through it okay you put your food into the clear chamber bit like in there uh, as you push this down uh that rah, is coming at you and you can twist it a little bit as well so yeah Oh, this bullet thing is actually just the cheese grater on its own. Ugh, love cheese. So this goes into this. We've got the other grating blade at the bottom. The cheese will go in there. <laughs> this is not great. Boom. Right. <laughs> it's not working, look. Look at that. <laughs> What's going on? What is going on? Let's focus on the slap chop. So with the slap chop, it is pretty much just that blade, but it's multi-purpose and all that stuff. So let's try with a tomato. <laughs> there you go. Oh, has that worked? Some bits. Yeah, actually, after a while it does get there. Let's make the world's easiest salsa. I've got some coriander. Stick that over there. Oh yeah, that has worked. Sort of. Quarter of an onion. Yeah. Apart from most of the onion being stuck in the blades. <laughs> it's not good, guys. It's not good. Uh, I did buy some pecans. The last of the Mo pecans. Oh wow, that's worked amazing. Maybe I was holding it wrong or something, but that worked so much better. I wanna try the onion again. Nah, it doesn't like my onions. Couple of blocks of chocolate left over from the giant Kinder Egg. Apparently it should go through this with ease. <gasps> it has as well to a little bit. Onion chocolate there, but right down here, I've got onion chocolate shards. So with all of this combined, we might have made a masterpiece. So before we finish with the excellent, fingers crossed, uh, egg gadget, this is the um, uh, Mighty Mug. 
the mug that won't fall over. Essentially the reason why I've let that coffee cool down a little bit. Uh, Mighty Mug grips to any smooth, flat, solid surface when you bump into it, but will lift naturally when you just want to pick it up. So if you push it, no, lift it, yay. As featured on ABC News, <laughs> haven't we all? And now my virgin kitchen. Now you know you've made it, huh? It was fairly expensive, so I'm hoping it works. Ooh, look at that. So that's our mouthpiece. Cool, good job I checked that. Oh, they didn't just do this one. Apparently they do like a tumbler and a sleeve and a uh, cocktail shaker as well. I'm not sure if I'm convinced by this. All right, so I'm just gonna put that down there and here is my coffee. Actually, it should... Actually? <laughs> it shouldn't be able to be knocked over now, should it? What? What the heck is this? That's amazing! Just do me a favour and um, knock that cup over. I was too scared to hit it. <laughs> Don't slap it! No, careful! Look! Oh gosh! Oh, God, that's in there. Is that cool? That's cool. I uh, don't mean to trouble you old chap, but could you tell me the time? Uh, certainly, yes, it's uh, ten past... Huh? Look! That is amazing. <laughs> Better go. I don't know how it works. My only conclusion is sorcery. Imagine if you could do that to people. <coughs> or animals. <coughs> Maybe that's where they got the concept, Boston. <coughs> Not the best spout on it though. Let's finish this uh, video with an egg extravaganza. So we take our cooled egg uh, and the base, which has still got the yellow stained egg bit on, it's not coming off even with another wash, uh, we pierce it on this. So that is through the egg. Crack the large end by tapping on the table a couple of times. Make sure you fully crack the large end of the egg open. Uh, don't be timid. Ooh. Pretty well cracked. Make sure the small end of the egg is facing upwards, so the bit with the small hole. You can really see this being like the next Tesla thing, can't you? Place the extractor over the egg, crisscross your hands over the top of the extractor and give one good fast push. If egg does not pop out on the first try, make sure you realign the egg upright position before trying again. Extractor is fun for the whole family. It may take you a couple of tries to get the hang of it. So if the first time your eggs don't come out perfectly, take a breather and give it another try. That's a disclaimer, right? We guarantee you'll get it right. Just make sure you follow the instructions exactly. If you follow the instructions exactly, you'll be an expert extractor. I'm worried about hitting the egg. Crisscross and make you jump, jump with your hands, all right? Boom, boom. Well, that didn't work, did it? I'm gonna really go for this. <laughs> no! So when I did this hack before, you had to kind of help a little bit of the membrane come off it like this, okay? So the fat end is sticking out. Crisscross will make you. Nope. <laughs> Something happened, it came, it went through the hole, but the shell is still on. Oh, oh dear. It's left half the shell in the egg. That's, that's not just the inner bit, that's actual egg white in there. We got three more though. I'm gonna try one more without helping the bottom. Excuse the pun. <laughs> Did you hear that? It kind of... I hope that the camera caught it, I didn't see, but look, it's just left a little bit of shell. We've got to give it some leeway, look. Oh, no, it's, it's stuck on like a baseball cap. Look, you can see the brain. But that kind of worked and we didn't help its bottom either. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm just pushing the egg through the hole, but again, it's not coming away enough. Do you know what? We've seen enough of that. For those of you that didn't see the hack the first time I did it, 
I mean, apart from the pug hairs, that's better. So there we go, folks. Another kitchen gadget video in the bag. My favorite one has got to be the grape slicer or uh, that cup. That was brilliant. Uh, some not so good ones uh, today, but if you see any cool gadgets, if you want to send them my way, get in touch or uh, just send me the links and I'll get hold of them. Hopefully, like many others, you're now going to have a marathon and watch lots of other videos on the channel. That means so much to me. So remember to subscribe and press the bell button to make sure you're notified of all new uploads. Follow me on social media at My Virgin Kitchen for all behind the scenes bits and bobs. And of course, any ideas for videos you want to see next, let me know down below and I'll see you again next time.